bring that is up because I'm going to relate. So now we talked about arithmetic, where we're talking about the difference, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, rather than looking at the difference, now we're going to look at the ratio. So if I do A2 over A1 is equal to A3 over A2, which is equal to A4 over A3, which is equal to A to the 5 over A sub 4. So now, if the ratio of my consecutive terms is going to equal a constant, which we'll call, let's not make this confusing, right? Math is confusing. The difference, we gave d. The ratio, let's give r. Why not? So we'll say this constant ratio will be r. All right? Got it? And obviously, we could also say that you know, r cannot equal 0. If you had r equals 0, then um, obviously, you wouldn't have um, your constant ratios. You wouldn't have a sequence go through. OK? So that's it. That's it. That's all I got for geometric. OK, homework. Well, no, not yet. Um, because.